Prior to inserting the Burr catheter into the guide, move the advancer knob forward by approximately 2 to 3 centimeters and lock it in that position. Introduce the catheter through the hemostasis valve. Under fluoroscopic guidance, gently push the burr through the guiding catheter to a point immediately proximal to the lesion. When the burr is 1 to 2 centimeters proximal to the lesion, retract the advancer knob fully. This will prevent the burr from darting forward when activated. Turn on rotation by pressing and releasing the advancer knob button. Allow approximately one second for rotational speed to stabilize. Advance burr and complete the case using proper technique. While rotating, a yellow triangular outline will appear when rotational speed drops more than 5,000 RPM below the free lumen platform speed. A solid yellow triangle will appear when rotational speed drops more than 10,000 RPM below the free lumen platform speed. A red stall indication will appear if the rotational speed falls to 15,000 RPM or below for approximately one half second, or if delivery of compressed gas to the advancer is discontinued. A stall condition may also be detected if the fiber optic connection is not properly engaged. A yellow check pressure indication will appear when the pressure is not supplied to the console. If the indicator appears, verify the gas supply hose is connected to the console and gas supply. The gas supply valve is fully open and the supply pressure to the console is within the range of 90 to 110 PSI. When you are finished with the procedure, remove the Rotopro Burr catheter by first depressing the Dynaglide mode button. The Dynaglide indicator on the console front panel and on the advancer will illuminate. With the wire clip torquer in the docking port, depress the brake defeat button and push forward on the torquer until it stops, locking the brake defeat button in the depressed position. This eliminates the need to hold the brake defeat button manually. Press and hold the Dynaglide momentary button. Under fluoroscopic guidance, withdraw the burr over the guide wire. Release the Dynaglide Momentary On button once the burr is out of the guide catheter.